your finster is going to draw a beehive. Yeah, when it's folded up, you can see the beehive. And then when you open it, you can see the bees. And also, what's inside of a beehive? Honey. Yeah, honey. We're going to draw a honeycomb too. So we hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be really awesome. You need your, what are these called? Crayons. Crayons. And what is this called? Paper. Yeah, you need something to draw with and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. First, we're folding the paper. So we'll put the crayons off to the side. We're going to take the top edge of our paper and line it up with the bottom edge. And when it's lined up on both corners, you can crease it down the middle and then out to the edge. I'll help you. There we go. I think that's close. Right down the middle. There you go. And then out to the sides. Yes, good job. Now we're ready to fold it again. We're going to take the top flap, line it up with the top edge. And when it's lined up, crease it down. You go right down the middle. Oop. Yes, perfect. And then we can flip it over and we're going to repeat that same step. And let's turn it like this. There you go. And then we're going to take the top flap and we're going to fold it up to the top edge and then crease it down. There you go, line it up on both sides, and then right down the middle. Yes, and out to the other side. We did it. Now this last fold is just a guide fold. So we're gonna unfold it and then flatten it out so it's easy to draw on. And then we're going to flip it over. When we're all done, it should open up like this. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Except we're gonna turn our paper one more time so that it opens up this way. Yes, we got it. Now we're ready to draw. Let's start with our brown crayon so that we can draw the branch of the tree that our beehive is connected to. Now I'm gonna start right here and we'll draw a line that goes across the fold. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another line either above it or below it. Yeah, good job. And then let's color in our branch. This part will fast forward. So remember, if we ever go too fast, you need extra time. You can always pause the video. Yes, you can pause the video. Now let's switch to our yellow crayon. We'll draw a line straight down on top of the fold from the branch. Then we're going to draw our beehive. We're going to draw an oval shape that comes around and then back up and connect where we started. There you go. And then let's also draw a line right down the middle, across the middle. There you go. And then let's split the top also and the bottom also. And then let's color in our beehive. So we'll fast forward again because this will take us a little while. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. Yeah. Now that we've colored in our beehive, you can't really see the design or the details. So let's switch back to our brown crayon. Let's trace over the shape for our beehive. And then let's also trace over the design. So let's draw a line right down or across the middle and also on the top and the bottom. Now it looks more like a beehive. Now let's switch to our green crayon and add a little leaf right here on our branch. Yes, and let's color in that leaf too. <laughs> and then you can add other leaves. Let's add another one on this side. Now, because you don't have as much room on the top, that's okay, you can leave these top leaves off. But do you wanna color that in? I'm yeah. gonna add maybe another one here. And like you, I'm gonna add one down here. Okay, now let's switch to our black crayon. What's our beehive missing? A door. A door where the bees can go in. Let's draw one right here. We're gonna draw a circle over the fold. So right in the middle. There you go. Yeah, I can help you hold it down. Nice. And then let's color in the hole or the door so that the bees can get in. We finished our beehive. Let's open up the paper and we'll flatten it out so it's easier to draw on. Now that it's open, we have half of our beehive over here and the other half on the other side. And we need to connect the branch. So first, let's draw a line on the top to connect the top of our branch. And then we can draw a line on the bottom to connect. And then let's color in the branch. Now let's use our black crayon to draw the honeycomb. First, let's draw a line down from the branch 
so that it's connected, it doesn't fall. Then we're gonna draw one circle right here. And we're gonna try to draw the circles all the same size. I'm gonna draw another circle next to it, and then another circle over here, and we're trying to draw them the same size. This is fun to practice. Now let's draw another one on each side. And then we're gonna draw, watch this, we're gonna draw two, or well, we can draw a bunch that are gonna go all the way across. So we're gonna add another row. And we're drawing circles, but honeycomb is actually a different shape than a circle. It's a hexagon, which means it has six sides to the shape. But because we're drawing it small, and we also wanna keep it simple, we're just drawing circles. Now let's draw another row of circles right below that one. Oh, love it. Now let's add another one. I'm drawing one more row, but our art friends could add even more if they wanted to. Yeah. I love yours. Okay, now let's switch back to our yellow crayon. We're using our yellow crayon to color in the honeycomb. This part will fast forward, so pause the video and take extra time. We did it, we finished coloring our honeycomb, but our drawings are missing something. What are they missing? Bees. <laughs> yeah, they're missing bees. Let's draw an oval shape and then color it in. Let's draw another oval shape and color it in. We're gonna draw as many bees as we want. So you can add three bees. You could add, I have four bees now. How many do you have? I want five bees. <laughs> are you counting them? Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you can make these little bees right here just a little bigger so that we can add their stripes. Now we're drawing all of these bees in between the folds so that when we fold it up like this, it's hidden and all of the bees are on the inside. But I think we should add one bee on the outside too. You could just add it right here. You don't have to fold it. So add it right there in the corner. I'm gonna unfold mine again so it looks like yours. Now let's switch to our black crayon again. Let's start on one of these bees right here. I'm gonna add two stripes, one, two. Yeah, and your bees are extra small, so we might not be able to fit much more. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little stinger, and you could also add a little eye if you have room. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's add, you could even just add one stripe if you only have room for one stripe. I'm gonna add two and a little eye. And we'll just repeat that same step on each bee. You could also make your bees a little bigger if you wanna make this easier to add the details. I'm gonna just draw on every single one, a stinger, two stripes, and an eye. Let's add one more thing to our bees, their wings. We're gonna use our blue crayon to do this. Let's add a two little bumps for the wings. And I'm gonna add that on each bee. Two bumps, two bumps. Well, maybe the wings are on the other side on this one. Oh, you could even add wings on both sides of the bee if you want to. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our beehives and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours. Uh, let's show our art friends the inside okay. on the count of three. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your honey. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> I love all of your cute bees, especially this big one. Maybe that's the queen bee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can pause the video to add even more things to your drawing. You could add more leaves or even more bees. You could also do this lesson all over again and add even more honeycomb. Yeah. We hope you had fun drawing the beehive with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, they're attacking. Bzz. Bzz.